everybody blue suit reviews another video in this video we're continuing the mod series I had at some point I lost some video I had a full video of how to tint your side markers using VHT nightshades I don't know what I did with the video content but that's okay I'm gonna just redo it it's all good Anyway, today what we're talking about is tinting side markers with paint. I've seen a lot of people, the way they do it is they order a pre-cut side marker tint and that's probably way easier than the way I tinted mine. But I'm just offering another option if you want to tint your side markers and you don't want to pay a lot of money. You're probably thinking tinting your side markers this way is uh you probably think it wouldn't come out good i know some people have some reservations they're kind of scared of the rattle can option but i've had a lot of practice with the rattle can and i've gotten pretty good at it uh disclaimer info note it says on most rattle cans mostly paint to hold the can six to ten inches away from the surface that you're spraying yeah follow that that, that six to ten inches is uh it makes uh it makes it come out better definitely makes it come out better if you follow the rule follow the the guidelines on the cans the directions which i try to read the directions with everything that i'm using i don't always do that because let's face it i'm a guy and i just want to get it done and i'm impatient and that's just me but following the directions definitely helps out a whole lot this is the product that i use it's called vht night shades and you could probably get that can from anywhere but i got the can that you're looking at from O'Reilly Auto Parts store, which can be found just about in every city in the United States. So, this can, what it does, well, first of all, what it is, is it's translucent tint paint. And the way it works is you spray it onto a lens and light actually shines through it. And another thing that's cool about this is you can actually go as dark as you want to go with that. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So, there's my side marker. Front side marker. I think it came out pretty good. But, that's about seven coats. And it came out pretty good. I've done this mod a couple times using VHT paint, using the VHT translucent paint, and every single time I've done it, it's come out pretty good. And what I notice about the VHT paint is that it's very forgiving. So if you make mistakes here and there, you can actually like stop painting, let it dry, and then kind of fix mistakes by kind of spraying in those little spots that you missed. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely good paint for the, the DIYer. It's a good paint for somebody who doesn't have a lot of skills in terms of painting, which would be me. So it's a good product. It's a good product if you, you're trying to get it done, but you're definitely not an expert when it comes to, to doing things like that. All right, so the other things I want to go over is what I used to make this happen. So the first thing, first thing you do is, I already got this popped out so you can see, is you gotta, it's a very good idea to go ahead and pop your side markers out. So if you look at this, this tab right here, I, uh, I went underneath the bumper and I pushed this tab in to pop the side marker out. And the next thing that you do is you want to take this clip on the top, there's a red lock. You want to slide this lock up and then you squeeze the connector to get it off and then you pull it off. Anyway, when you put this guy back in there, it only goes one way. I'm about to put it upside down. It only goes in one way. So, when you pull them out, as long as you remember what side you got it off of, it's really easy to get it back in there. Alright, so, when I got the side marker out, I 
took some Cured alcohol wipes and I cleaned the surface as much as I could with the Cured alcohol, alcohol wipes and I kind of blew on the surface to get all the lint off and then once it dried I laid down one thin thin coat of VHT once that dried, I laid down another thin coat and another thin coat until I got the seven coats on every side marker. Now that's something that definitely is going to take you a little while to do it. It's, um, it's probably a lot faster to go ahead and tint them with the kits that come pre-cut. But if you're somebody that, that has a little time to do it, it's not a bad option. And again, read the instructions on the back of the can. It'll tell you how to get the best results. And trust your hand. Trust your hand when you're painting. Uh, like I said, it's very forgiving. If you make a couple mistakes, they can be fixed. A warning, doing your side markers like this, you can't go back. So with the tent kits, you can probably peel the tent off if you decided you want to go back to a clear side marker. But I know that I don't want to go back to a clear side marker. And I, I'm actually buying the car from the credit union. So it's not a lease. So I don't have to turn the car back in and and uh, uh, what is it, like a one year lease, three year lease, I can't remember what the lease options are, but I don't have to turn this car back in, it's in my garage until uh, I either trade it for something else or sell it, or if I can't pay for it, then the credit union can just come have it. But it's been working out so far. Anyway, once you get all those, all of those, once you get all the layers of paint down, you let the side marker dry for at least 24 hours. Now it doesn't say that on the can, I let the side markers dry, all of my side markers dry for 24 hours to avoid, uh, to avoid waving. I, I painted things before and didn't let it dry for long enough. And the air and the, the the heat and all those different elements like did some weird stuff to the paint and if you've seen like a botch paint job after you tried to let it dry and you didn't let it dry long enough it's it, it's a it's a pain like it's not completely ruined if you you know if you had the patience to take like some some 600 grit sandpaper and kind of sand down the mistake that you made but uh it's a pain it's a pain if you don't take your time if you don't let the paint dry it's things that could be avoided if you just let the paint completely cure and dry before you put the whatever it is back on the car. So a couple of the items that I use, and I actually use this all the time, is the blue painter's tape. That's really mostly for it's mostly for contractors that that are really I don't know I wouldn't say contractors probably your do-it-yourself uh, house home improvement folks. And then a little bit more upgraded grade of tape called frog tape. So this stuff is essentially the same. Frog tape is, is a lot more expensive than, than blue painter's tape. Uh, but frog tape will stick to anything. Like this stuff is amazing. Where blue painter's tape is more, uh, it's a quick job and you really don't need it to stick to the surface that bad. Uh, I have just a to sure up the VHT lineup that I have. On my Scat Pack 392, I use VHT Flame Proof, this stuff right here, to paint my exhaust tips, which is, which your exhaust tips probably don't get that hot, but it's good to have, if you're gonna paint something that gets hot, you should have some paint that's rated for it. Anyway, VHT, VHT makes some good stuff. It's actually for your car. So if you want to try that, I'll definitely put a link in the description. Uh, this is definitely an entirely separate mod, so don't pay attention too much to that. But I'll leave a description to the VST Night Sage if you want to check that out. That's it for this video. Very, very short mod video. This one on the do-it-yourself meter from one to five is definitely a two. Maybe even maybe even a one and a half if you wanted to go ahead and just dark your your side markers out. Again, it's just another option. You don't have to do it the way I did it because I, for sure my the way that I did it is is definitely more tedious and and you have to 
you have to insert patience in there. Uh, not that you don't have to have patience to do tent, but uh, spraying those side markers is, is, is a lot more than just putting a strip of tent on there and being done with it. Things in the state are opening back up. Again, I'm in Florida. I'm in Riverview, Florida. Things have opened up. I know this is a lot more traffic. I hope people are out there being safe uh, across the nation. Be safe out there. Make sure you protect yourself even though things are opening back up. It, uh, the CDC and a lot of medical experts say it's still dangerous out there. So heed their warnings. As usual, leave a comment in the comment section below if you can. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you know when I drop a new video. I'm about to put a whole lot more videos out there. Got a lot of motivation and a big shout out to, to the YouTubers that are in this area. Big shout out to to Weekend Mods over in Orlando. I know he and I have been going back and forth about making sure that that content gets out there. And if you haven't seen his channel, which I hope you have already, please go check Weekend Mods out. He has essentially turned his Dodge Challenger into one of the nicest Dodge Challengers that I've, I've seen out on the streets. Big ups to him, I appreciate him. Blue Suit Reviews, I appreciate you tuning in. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know when the new videos are coming out. Peace.